we're all valuable mm. but the world we live in right you need to be able to demonstrate your value add for you yeah. to be rewarded the thing is that we all have come on a on a on a clear purpose a divine purpose believe it or not like we're all here for a reason you're not just here for vibes when you've made that million pounds give it away okay and that's what he said he was like you bonkers <laughs> yeah, <you're> not, <laughs> it's not the million pounds that will make you valuable per se is the process to get there. Mm. Sometimes it will be your biggest weakness which actually can be the biggest value add in someone's life. So for example, for you, we're speaking. We all know what we're, we're yeah. good at. I want to say that. I want to say that everybody actually knows because I've spoken to so many people, really? well, quite a few people, and they've said, ah, oh, what's good people is that time of the week is that time of the day. Mm -hmm. It's purpose-led time. And guys, I can't lie to you, we've got an absolute banger today. Bang on. Big bangers today. Mm. Obviously, you know who I am, Coach Klutze, public speaking coach, consultant, project manager. I do a lot of things. Obviously, a lot of people. My brother? I'm Jonathan. <laughs> um, I, have a, I have a business. That's what I do in my, yes. not in my spare time, my full time. That's <laughs> <laughs> your life, bro. That's <laughs> my life. You know what I mean? I also run a podcast with my boy. I'm not sure if you watched it. Oh, yeah, it. yeah. Um, it's decent. Yeah, it's just all right. Do you know what I mean? It's all right. And today is a, a very special day. Why is it a special day, bro? <laughs> We've got an amazing guest today. But it's as you guys really know how we do, uh, we like to give a little introduction. Not we, a little introduction. You like to give a little introduction. Hey, you and I. Too, I like man. it. I like it. But he does it. Yes, sir. Go on. But yeah, we got a, we got a big guest today. He is a leader. Hmm. In fact, 2019, 2020, he was actually regarded as the no number nine in the future black leaders. Mm -hmm. so that just shows the stature of this man's room today. He's a youth coach. He's a mentor, and also quite recently too, he's a writer. So he had mm. dissertation, and it actually, by the grace of God, has been able to reached such amazing heights mm -hmm. that if I'm not mistaken, he was number one ranked dissertation in in the in his in his univer in his university and now it's going to international it's gonna be internationally recognized. So this is a guy of amazing stature. Before we go any further, just Yeah word <laughs> word, 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 <laughs> word, 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 hey. yeah, word, word. But you know what, yeah, on a personal basis, right? This guy here has been a big motivation to me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I've been seeing him, he's been seeing me from the side. For years now we have been saying Bro, we the link up, we the link up, we the link up, we the link up. The, bro, if you if I if I show you our DMs, the amount of times you see we to link up, we to make something happen, mm. we'll be millionaires if you can count up all the times. But this guy here, I'm so mm. proud of him. Reason being, because this is a man walking in his purpose. Mm. This man is very valuable, so it's very funny. He's actually put his actual podcast is called Valuable. Mm. But guys, tap in this episode today because it's gonna mm -hmm. be an absolute banger. Guys, get your notepads out too, because this one is gonna be very, very influential. Mm. But without further ado. Oh, brother, man. How you doing, Victor, man? <laughs> Thank you so much. Like, I was actually in awe just watching both of you introduce <laughs> me that I should, I should pay you. And like, Rob, when you said that, it just reminded me. Do you remember the first time we met? No. Well, I remember the first time. Well, we didn't even meet, but I remember the first time I spotted Rob. So right. we're in, back in Coventry and Warwick, because I went to oh, Warwick University. Right. Yeah, right. middle. And every Thursday we have men's Bible study. Mm -hmm. So I remember being in Bible study mm -hmm. and Warwick, by the way. So I'm thinking, okay, I might have not seen everyone, but I've right. seen all the men around. Doesn't right. make yeah, yeah, yeah. I just see one big guy walking around. <laughs> <laughs> walking to work, yeah. And he just like spuds one of my guys and he just sits down and like, I forgot exactly the topic we were talking about yeah, during the Bible yeah. study. I was just thinking, who is this brother? Because you yeah. don't go work. Yeah. <laughs> but um, no, when you walked in, man, you carried a grace when you came in and you were dropping yeah. like gems because I can't remember the topic, but I just know you're contributing. Yeah. Then you then you went back to Loughborough, if I'm correct. Was it when it was I um, wearing a black, all black? I think, you know what? It's crazy because I remember you're wearing a long sleeve Montclair. Wow. That was the day. I didn't go back to Loughborough that day. That's what, <laughs> before I came to Christ, I was out clubbing afterwards. Oh, wow. so oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How times have changed, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I remember that black long sleeve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you take a picture in that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I even remember that. Picture. Yeah, yeah. You remember yeah, that picture? Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. And now yeah. we're here together. It's yeah. crazy, yeah. man. Podcasting, man. No, thank you so much. Thank it's you so much, too, it's man. On our. Um, John, like honestly, the amount of times I've me and John, I've linked him. Hey, yo, we should link up together. What mm. day? What day? What day? I call Rob, <laughs> but to get each other together, yeah, exactly. it's crazy. Yeah. So the fact that I can actually be graced enough to come on your podcast, yes. and we can chop it up here, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's gonna be a movie, cool. man. And as you guys know, in fact, you might not know actually, but let me let's tell you right now. So this brother here, as well as doing so many great things, he's a man of projects. I said, as I heard on your on your podcast, you like to do many projects. Yeah, but another project he's you know doing right now is a podcast so mm -hmm. similar to ourselves he's in this podcast space too as you guys know from our, our previous episode or previous episodes with uh, Energizer Podcast we're very very big on 
collaborating and support our podcasters too. Because in the why? same space as well. Yeah, because yeah. why? There's nothing for everyone to eat. So this is another mm. great, amazing podcaster. His podcast is called Valuable Podcast. And it's very interesting he says that, right? Because he's a very valuable man. Mm. And also, it links together very nicely with us too, right? Because mm. when it comes to value and it comes to purpose, that's anonymous. That's anonymous for each other. Yeah, very well interlinked. Very well interlinked, right? Mm. So it's only right we even made this happen today. Yeah. Mm. So before we go any further, right, bro, I want to ask you, because... So your your podcast is called Valuable, right? Yeah. You also have a, a clothing brand called Valuable. Yeah. This whole idea of Valuable and this term of Valuable, how did it even begin for you then? Wow, that's yeah. a big question. It, got, it has to go deep straight away. <sighs> bro, only right, bro. It's only the right. The podcast, like, the, the podcast Valuable came yeah. after, like, the brand yes, Valuable. Yes, um, yes, yes. Right. Like, it's crazy because when I grew up, some everyone knows my name is Victor Sasanya, right? Mm-hmm. But when I, when I, I think when I was around 17 in school, I just learned, heard the first time about personal branding. Okay. I didn't really personal know what branding. that was, but I knew that when you go to different events, or go to do things like community events, like mm. you have to speak up for yourself. Precisely. You know, the 30 second elevator pitch yes. Yes. everyone Precisely. talks about. So yeah. that's what I first heard. And I started to like personal brand myself. So mm. people actually know me as Sauce. These are the oh, first really? three letters of my last name. name that's yeah. what people used to call me. Oh yeah, Sauce, Sauce. Mm. Like if you go on my Instagram, yeah. you'll see my highlights still have like SOS. SOS. Right. And people mm. think it's like, what, what does that mean? Like, you know, yeah. SOS. Emergency or yeah, save our soul, save but, our soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, it was just the last few loads of my um, surname. But there came a point in time where I think it was in 2020 during lockdown. Um, mm. We all had times on our hands, yes, during lockdown. Yeah. Time. yeah, that makes sense. And when I was in lockdown, I had a lot of time to reflect, mm. a lot of time to reflect. I, I would even look back and see now, lockdown was like needed in terms of yeah. the the period of lockdown, not obviously the COVID-19 yeah, and yeah, the, the yeah, plagues okay. we had, yeah, right? yeah. but the period, like that season for me was important because that's when I got to actually sit down and sort of God can also talk to me. Precisely. And I remember just reflecting, okay, everything I've done, like, but um, um, like what value am I adding? Yeah, yeah. That was the question I just had. Yeah. Like, what value am I adding? Mm. Where, where in particular in terms of value? Just in life? Just in life, bro. Because do you, do you know something, right, when it comes to... um. When it comes to like success, like I know this, we talk about great things. This is purpose led. Yeah. I talk about valuable. So success is going to be in a conversation, yeah, you know, yeah. chasing, not chasing money, but success, obtaining money, doing well, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. when when I thought about all of those things and I read a book called Conversation with Millionaires. I saw so that on your story. Amazing. That book, I promise you, it's like one of, it's, it has to be up there with the best book I've ever read. Wow. What was it called? Um, Com- Conversation with Millionaires. Research that. Yeah. Research, Research that. Research that. Because... That you hear about the think and grow rich, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the richest the, the man classics, in Babylon, yeah. the mm. classics. I never read none of those books. The yeah. first book I read was Conversation with Millionaires. Mm. What, what made you read it? <laughs> my brother bought it, <laughs> so wow. it was just it was just sitting in my house. Yeah, yeah. Was, environment, man, is important. environment. I n- like I had nothing to do with this book. Mm. I would never Google it, never search it. One of those odd books on your bookshelf because yeah. my brother was actually a big motivation and inspiration to me. Like, nice. nobody actually knows. People think I'm an only child. Oh, really? wow. How old yeah. is he? Is he, is he older than you? Um, no, yeah, four years. Okay. okay so not that yeah, not, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, people think I'm an only child because yeah. we don't really, but we're, we're, we're tight, but, you know, we. But he's a bit private. Mm. Okay. A bit private myself. But no, so he had a book line around conversation mm. with millionaires and mm. I just picked it up one day, lockdown, like I said, doing nothing. <laughs> nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it already had highlights in the book. Mm. You know when someone goes for a book and yeah, highlights? Yeah, yeah, to work. Yeah, yeah. So for me, it was a shortcut to just... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 see yeah, the yeah. yeah, the highlights section. That makes sense. So so I read... Um, so the way... Just just for the camera, right? And mm. for the people, the way Conversation with Millionaires, the book is structured. Yeah. It's kind of like what we're doing right now. Mm. It's literally a podcast, but it wasn't called a podcast back in the day. It was mm. called a radio. Ah. So... Um, there was this guy you know very interesting yeah yes people I have made a group a community for people I say people but it's go-getters entrepreneurs people who want to improve their lives probably some of you guys as well might be interested it's called the round table and essentially in this group I will be getting together a whole load of people who will have the same vision and they're about the same stuff I'm just going to be sharing as much value resources um, I don't know links to podcasts to, to, to videos that I've seen to books that I've read anything that's helped me on my journey and helped my people on their journey i'll be dropping in this chat so if you're interested go to the description below or whatever there is it will be somewhere click on that link and join the chat trust me you will love it quick one people so i'm taking event bookings now to speak at events for the last few months now i've been speaking at universities of some schools places such as ucl warwick right but now i'm officially taking event bookings so you want someone to speak to you guys about or speak to your people about confidence imposter syndrome and the art of improving public speaking i'm the guy for you so contact me 
on the coach don't say Robert don't say it and I'll be there for you I forgot the name of the the author per se but the book wasn't written it was recorded I then see. it was transcribed okay. transcribed yeah, yeah. Does oh, that wow. makes sense yeah, that so makes yeah sense. so conversation with millionaire so this guy was on radio and he basically every chapter is a different person okay. and he had a conversation with them nice nice and what he nice. done is just took that audio into text and he wrote it into a book That's so a lovely, yeah. there was one chapter Jim Rohn don't know if you heard about Jim yeah, Rohn. Jim Rohn, yeah. Oh, heard of him. Massive like personal development. Wow. Sort of. He's big, like one of the like like one of the biggest guys in the industry. Is he still alive now? I don't no, think no, no. so. He's no, past it's, his it's been a while. Yeah, okay, it's been cool. a while. Yeah. But Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace. He, <laughs> he um nah, he he was a big inspiration to myself. So Jim Rohn, long story short, in this book, what mm. he said was like, if you made a million his mentor called Old Shawif basically told him, like, I want you to make a million pounds. Or if you make a million pounds, when you've made that million pounds, give it away. Okay. And that's what he said. He was like, are you bonkers? <laughs> yeah, you're <nuts. laughs> wow. But he was just like, because it's not the million pounds that will make you valuable per se. It's the process to get there. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I pondered in lockdown, mm-hmm. like if I obtained all this wealth and riches that I wanted yeah. and something, think about it, where COVID came yeah. and wiped out millionaires. Yeah. COVID came, like literally yeah. it passed like a wind and people were dead the next day. Yeah. All those riches or people were sick or like you couldn't go out. Yeah. Does that make sense? People lost their jobs, their livelihoods, mm-hmm. right? So I don't know, I hope, God forbid, that like, something like that comes again. But yeah. if something was to wipe away all your wealth, mm. would your value go like that? Wow. That's deep, man. And that's what, in lockdown, I was deep in. So yeah. back to your question, mm. where did valuable come from? Yeah, something in me just said, let's let's just create that brand valuable. Yeah. Let's start to redefine what value meant for me. Yeah, not yeah. for everybody else. For me, let me yeah. redefine what value means. How can I add value? Mm. And I just thought, let me just I don't know, print some t-shirts. Mm. Yeah. So the clothing brand came before the the podcast. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah oh yeah, like way three, before. Years, isn't it now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you repping now? So 2020. So um, oh, do you know what? <laughs> I should have. So there's new merch coming. Let me oh, just say on. that. You know, you, know you, you know what we do? Because he's not wearing it. Yeah. I was gonna say I'm gonna edit something onto his top, but that's oh. not. So what we'll do is we'll put like a picture or something like by the, by your side or something yeah, to show yeah, what yeah. the actual product looks like. No, so of that course. you can get even if you if you have them available, get some sales off that too. No, I appreciate that. Yeah, and like, yeah so man. the t-shirt, the brand, and this was just me playing around. Mm-hmm. Like um, I had a designer, shout out Chokudu, um, if you know him, design like the valuable logo for me, nice. printed on some t-shirts because I used to run a clothing line back in the day. Okay. okay. Yeah, so um, oh man, I'm just deep in it. Entrepreneur nah. Vicks. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I used to run a clothing man, young and gifted back in the day. Mm. But long story short, so I just printed these valuable, valuable t-shirts and I started to wear it. Mm. And do you know why it's so significant to me? Forget mm. everybody else. Yeah. The material alone costs like what? Seven pound, mm-hmm. six oh, pound. Wow. You know, just getting a t-shirt. Yeah. You just stick on, you know, valuable. But I used yeah. to wear it. Like I'm not wearing it today, but I used to sport it around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I still felt of worth. Yeah, you added value mm. to it. No Gucci, sense. No, no Gucci, no Prada, no, valuable. No nothing. Yeah. And it made me feel comfortable mm. in the sense that, okay, so now I know it's not the clothes that define me. Yes. That makes yeah. sense. Mm-hmm. Because I was wearing, you know, one designer, nothing against designers. Does that yeah, make sense? Yeah. Because I'm wearing one clothes or I was doing this, that's not what defined me. I knew that, okay, I can create my own thing. So I started to brand myself up to a point where only this year in January, I made the decision, I want to start a podcast. And... Wow. I want to make it a mission and a journey to share value in conversations. Mm. Yeah. Share value in conversations, but yeah. also help people become more more valuable and yeah. increase their value add. Precisely. In life. Value added. Yeah. You know what? I was, before we get to this episode today, yeah, I was thinking about this whole term and whole phenomenon of value, right? And what I actually linked value to is usefulness to the marketplace, right? So the way I see it, right, in order for you to be valuable, you need to know what you bring to the table. And we speak about this quite a lot. How do you know what you bring to the table? It comes down to personal reflection. You said during lockdown, you had time to really reflect on what you bring to the table. When you mm. did that, you knew where to go to. Well, the thing about reflection is this, right? And it comes to, and it is back, sorry, to value. When you reflect on what you bring to the table, a lot of things which aren't for you, or people say, oh, come, come do this, come do this. You won't do, because you know it's not adding to your value. It's not adding in your direction. So when it comes to value, from what I have understand so far, it's important for you to know what you stand for. Mm-hmm. and niche down in those areas there when you look at even when you look at the example of education right bro and it comes to um, niching there's a power of niching you go from writing GCSEs doing 15 subjects to now do A levels you're doing 3 subjects then I go to a degree you're doing 1 subject through all that throughout, throughout the whole process there you're niching down to get to the one point where you're, for example you're a doctor you add a value to the world now so to anyone right there think who, who doesn't know where their value is 
focus. What do you, what what is innately within you which you can add to this world? Because trust and believe and believe in trust. When you actually deep deep but within you look within yourself, you look deep inside, and you you, look, you can say to yourself or you can think to yourself, "This is where I can add value to this world. Mm-hmm. This is where I can add value to this world." Because we're all unique. We're all made in the image of the one above. So that means you have something to add to this world. So one thing, one tip I'll say when it comes to adding value and being valuable is understand and reflect on what you bring to this world. That's powerful, man. Yeah. And it's true. Yeah. It's actually true. When it comes to value and because at the end of the day, we are all valuable. Like you said, if we're made in the creators, you know, where his creation, we're valuable. Yeah. But there's a, you know, there's a spiritual realm, there's an earthly realm. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. I mean by that, like, I can't, you can go to the supermarket, you have to bring out cash to pay for something. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Does that make sense? What do you mean so, by that? As in like, oh, okay, that's a good question. Let me try to break it down for you. So we're all valuable, mm. and but the earth, the, the world we live in, right? You need to you need to be able to demonstrate your value add for you yeah. to be rewarded. Mm. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So when I meant, okay, we can, if you go to the supermarket, you have to bring out cash. That's because that's how the system works. You have to pay for things. Yeah, you yeah, have to yeah. get money. And yeah. to get money, you have to, you have to work. Yeah, right. Yeah. And, and s- there's so many people in this life that work harder than others, but they obviously earn very much less. Mm-hmm. Not that they're not deserving of it, yeah. but they might not be applied in the right situation, their value add. And it takes mm-hmm. time. That's why it says, and this is why purpose led. I love it because about purpose, right? When you do find your purpose, that's the value. And when you find out what you're good at and you find out your gift, yeah. you'll be able to increase your value add. 100%. And you get rewarded, you know, monetary terms, mm-hmm. not just monetary terms, but also something I call honour. Mm. Right. You know when people celebrate you, yeah, you know, yeah, people yeah. bring you in to motives, to yeah, parties, yeah, to yeah, networking yeah. events, private dinners, yeah, right? Yeah. That's a that's a form of reward. Yeah. Does that make yeah. sense? Because they know that okay, if I bring this person in Right, they val- they will add value. Yeah. I won't be ashamed. Does that make sense? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So, um, so that's what I mean by it. I think right. that although we're all valuable, some mm-hmm. and this is sort of my mission and journey is like, how can we actually upskill people? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How can we help people? Uh, you know that you like this one thing. Yeah, you need to spend more time on it. Precisely. And it's just that if you need to spend more time on it, spend more time on it. But. Yeah. Help to increase your value add. If that means niching it down, not being a jack of all trades, that's master it, of none. Right. Yep. And so be the, it. That's the thing, bro. So just to jump, just to jump in on that right there. But when it comes to value, right, we live in a world where it's so hard to decipher and discern where your value is because there's so many distractions out there. Social media is social media is such a thing. A great place, but because there's so many different avenues for you to go down. One minute you do, you could do drop shipping, then you could do e-commerce. There's so many different things you can do, right? So you actually don't really spend time to understand what you bring to the table. Mm-hmm. You're jumping from all places, as you said, a jack of all trades. But then that personal reflection, maybe away from social media if you need to, to reflect what you actually bring to the table can help you so much. And I just want to, I just want to celebrate that point there, man. Because, bro, at the end of the day, right, it's it's good to have social media. In, in, in a sense because it help you you know be able to showcase your value to the world but when you're trying to find what you bring to the table sometimes social media can be kind of detrimental because there's so many there's so many distractions out there for you to figure out what should I actually do does that make sense yeah no it does and it's big you know when we was talking about social media and TikTok John mm-hmm. like it's big because you're in that space mm-hmm. so and of course we both run podcasts so we both have to use yeah, social media so, yeah. chop edit so like how do you deal with that knowing that okay your at the end of the day, your goal is to like put a lot of content out on mm-hmm. social media and yeah. like put different ideas and perspectives because you have so many different guests that are different, yeah. right? So your idea is to shaft all of that out, right? But you're still kind of have to deal with okay, where's the value add? Like, how do you deal with that yourself? I make sure when I go through the video and when I go through all of the clips, I make sure that all of the clips at least are adding some value in some sort of way. Yeah, whether that is and, and it doesn't even have to necessarily be something like mind blowing, like oh my gosh, did he really just say that thing? That is crazy. Oh my gosh, mm. it could just be something that draws them to our content, which ultimately will add value to their lives. No matter what video you watch or most of the videos that you watch, some of them it might be me and Rob joking around. I don't know what big up purpose led man. <laughs> <laughs> All the videos add value. Thank you. But even some some add more value than others. Yeah. But then ultimately the whole goal is to bring people in to our ecosystem where mm. or our, our stratosphere where we're all talking about things that will add value to your life. Like mm. if you watch the whole video, they, it will add value to your life. Even the clips that we do, it will add value to your life. Is there something that someone can learn from this clip? That is always something that plays in my mind yeah. whenever I make a clip. Yeah. Is there something that someone can learn from this? Is this going to impact someone in some way? Is someone going to be able to relate to this? Because mm. that is when I know it is adding value. Or is it going to bring them in because we will ultimately add value if we consume enough of our content 
No, that's powerful. And I think it's so important as well what you do because you just need to bring somebody to the room or the environment that you said. Mm -hmm. And that's where the values add. Because mm -hmm. sometimes, let's be real, I, I as well, we make 20 second, 30 second clips. Even nowadays, I think the shorter the clip is, maybe it's more yeah, like the more, the more viral bait, potential. The more yeah. viral yeah, potential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't think that's not where the values added. Not yeah, at what, in 15 seconds? Not nah. as crazy, isn't you'll, it? You'll, just, you'll make up a decision in your mind. You either agree or disagree with the video and that's it. Mm -hmm. And in, in the first couple of seconds as well. Yeah. In yeah. the first And in, on TikTok, it's terrible. It's like under, under a second, some people would decide, do I want to watch this video or not? <laughs> wow exactly but when you actually click on something you stay watch the hour hour mm. two hours yeah. you actually act on that information mm. yeah that's a big part too that's where the value that's comes. so good and that's at least what we always say bro we always say impact over impressions mm. impact over impressions because Im impact is that real change in people's lives that's value your value added you're changing people's lives impressions could be numbers but what does numbers mean if there's no change that's why we all three of us are very, very big on adding impact to people's lives. When you do that, that's when real change starts to happen. That's when people start to renew their minds in areas. I used to think like this, now I think like this now. Why? Because you added value to my life. And that's, when, that's something we're really big on. So even looking back to what Jono said, whenever you like to produce a, um, release a clip, we're always thinking about how will this help someone else? Because even even when we're, even when we're joking around, laughing around too, that can help someone in another way. But for us, mostly what we like to do is to add value by at least changing or challenging your thought process or not even challenging sometimes sometimes reminding you of something because when you do that that's when change starts to happen over time and as you said too bro i mean it's a shame that the shorter clip the um, the more um what's, what's the word um the, the more viral it gets the more viral it is yeah the, the way that these platforms work they work on the algorithm of, of time watch like yeah. how like watch percentage how much yeah. of the video do people usually watch and when it comes to like let's say for example you have a five second video mm. most people are going to watch the whole five seconds right but if you have a minute video more people are going to complete that video than they're going to complete the one minute video so the five second video is going to get more and more and more views okay. you should tell the algorithm okay this is something that needs to be shown to more people because loads of people are completing it so that's why the short clips get put out there a lot more and get a lot more views wow. unfortunately but then that is what actually some of the time draws people in yeah yeah and what actually gets people to actually pay attention to what you're doing yeah. and you actually have to play the game so I'm just processed. I didn't even know that myself. So. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> I yeah, can yeah. go back to the lab. And yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's the thing. It's the all about it's up. all about practicing and all about learning. Yeah, and getting in that environment where people add value to you, mm. so that you can learn from that and apply it to mm. your own thing. That's powerful. Man. I think environment become comes in a very like a large amount when it comes to adding value. Yeah, a large yeah. large amount. It does, man. I was just literally just a bounce off, and that's why everyone says you know it's important to look at your friends, right? Yeah. The five most people you spend the most time with, mm. right? Because it's all about environment. But go on. I was gonna ask you, bro. You talk about value all the time, and the thing is though, you always ask the people about value. Mm. Okay. What do you say your biggest tip is to someone out here watching the podcast thinking? I understand what they're saying right now, but where on earth, how do I even start to add value to this world? What would you say to them? Mm, that's a good question. Mm. Where do they start to add value? Yeah, how do they start? I think the first thing is understanding. And I don't want it to be like, it's hard to, I find it hard to articulate some of my answers. Well, right? no because, worries, man. So I'm going to take time with me. Have yeah, some patience. Yeah, no, right? Have some patience. Man. But I think the first thing is sort of understanding who you are. Yes. Before, because before you can add value, you need to understand first of all who you are. And what I mean by that is like, I always use this um, analogy because I, I used to do personal branding courses, and I, I, I use this analogy sort of like you, before you go out and you know play with the colors and the logos, etc. Start with the foundation, the structure. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is understand who you are, yes, where you came from, mm -hmm. where you are now, mm -hmm. and where you're going. Important. So there's like a three-step process, yes. right? So when you understand, okay, this is who I am, this is where I came from, whether it's like I came from a single parent um, family or where I come from a good home, whether I come from this sort of educational background, whether I come from this sort of working background. First of all, understand like, okay, this is what shapes me because we spoke about environment so many times and I'm not going to repeat it, but your environment shaped you from the beginning you entered this world. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing that I sort of, done in this reflection time okay who am i then i think about my present okay this is where i am right now think about all the skills i've accumulated in this mm. present being right because if, if we're talking about adding value you know you can start from scratch or something or more, nine times out of ten the value you're gonna add you've already accumulated it you've 100%. already practiced mm. it in some way would it be would it more so be passing on value then 
because you, like you had you get this value and now you're just passing it on to someone else exactly. it's not even necessarily adding you're literally just passing it on but you you shape it as well mm. you shape it as well because you add your you add your own to it yeah true on spin and twist true because yeah, yeah, yeah. there's, there's that saying that like, honestly success leaves clues it does mm. indeed. have you heard that saying before? Yeah, oh, i heard yeah. it many times yeah and what i mean by that is like if you want to be successful someone's done something before Precisely. like just go and follow them yeah. it's the same thing of course you com- you do what they do mm. but you're gonna add your own spin on twist yeah but to the question where do you start so when you understand yourself understand where you've come from understand your present being in terms of okay what are the skills what are the things that are already sort of natural to me that i've built up over time whether that's in the home or outside in the community and society and education what am i good at now Mm -hmm. very very important what am i good at yes we all know what we're we're good at i want to say that i want to say that everybody actually knows because i've spoken to so many people really quite a few people and they've said ah i don't know what i'm good at like there's nothing that really sticks out to me but then we are you're right we are all good at something like you're you're not just put here and just some average joe yeah big up all the joes out there (laughs) but you're not just some average guy like there there is something about you that you can do or something that you have some skill that you have that you Mm. can do better than anyone else yeah Mm. like there there is and then the way for you to find that or one of the ways for you to find that is to ask the people around you because they more time than not can actually see it more than you can of course and they can actually say that is a skill that you have. Yeah, you're really, yeah. you're really, really good at speaking to people. You're really, really good at talking to a room of people. Yeah. Yeah. You're really good at getting people together like a leader. Mm-hmm. You're really good at I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, pouring drinks. You might be a barman. Who knows? <laughs> There's so many different things that you can do. What ma- matter of fact, pouring drinks could just be um, just just something that you can do because of that main thing that you can do. Let's exactly. say you have really good hand-to-eye coordination. Okay. Yeah. That is where the pouring drinks can come in. Course, into. Bro, we've got to do the. Oh, it's good. We I could just start it again. Yeah. Sorry. Where were we? Um, I think I was talking about the wraps. The yeah, wraps. The, yeah, 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 you, got, you got immune to it. Yeah, I got immune to selling these chicken wraps. So just part of my everyday sort of life. But yeah, yeah but to my story, but every time I've, I was trying to find out what I'm good at, mm-hmm. and just over time, literally, what I'm good at is bringing people together. Yeah, mm. I That's saw that, bro. During was it lockdown when you had like the zooms? I went to them. You were telling me about that. Before. I went to them, bro. No way. You didn't know you went to them, bro. I didn't mean by. It. Did you go to them? Yeah, I went to a few of them, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. crazy. Bro, I said you're a big inspiration, bro. I was like, this guy is killing. It. I wish I could do something like that. And here we are now. No, here we later. are now. But but that's crazy, see, man. That's crazy. Things come full circle. You put a seed in me, bro. See, yeah. you put a seed in my head to think if I could do it, and I look at us now, bro. If you can have value, yeah. If bro. I could, if you could do, it, I could do it too. And that's for everyone there. I hope that we're at a value, all three of us, yeah. to use to think that you could do it yeah. too. But, but yeah, as you're saying, but it's hard because when you think what you're good at. Now, if I said bringing people together, yeah. what good is that for me? Mm. So that's why. I knew that, okay, that's something I'm good at. Host sort of like Zoom calls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Host, I've hosted a networking event online. Yeah. I host different places where people can gather and come together. And you're going to be doing something in person, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that so, about? Tell, tell us. <laughs> What's that about? So 16th to the 18th of December, we got the Valuable Retreat. Yes, sir. Where literally we're going away to the beautiful um, green space in Northamptonshire, Daventry. Mm. And it's just going to spend um, two nights, three days where we're just going to get away. Mm-hmm. Get away from all the noise. Yeah. And like we've been talking, focus on how we can become more valuable. It's amazing, man. So we're going to have team building activities, so. you know, social sort of activities, and also some just co-learning sort of sessions about mm. finance careers mm. creativity so and that's again so everything i've done i've related it back to what am i good at mm. i'm good at bringing people together and when you so if you don't know okay i don't know what i'm good at just kind of think if it's not like clear like okay what can i do with this information i just said you can always then talk to your friends people around you okay how yeah. can i bring this if i'm good at bringing people together What's the best way to do it? Mm-hmm. Like even Benny, for example. Yeah. So for example, you know Benny, like he put the uh, Unity Unify, Unified, Unified yeah. um, London. He put this whole event on. Mm. Uh, matter of fact, back in the day, he used to hold motives, and he was really good at hosting parties. Like the man and they'll just get together. They were really oh, good yeah, at hosting they, parties. They, they showed some down at work. <laughs> still, yeah, <laughs> some serious more life. Yeah. Some serious <laughs> parties down, and then he took that, and obviously when he became Christian and stuff, like he put it in a different way and then like obviously I said to I said to him, bro you're good at bringing people together do something do something for and that's a lesson in itself very quickly right many of the skills you have right you don't even know you have them more time mm. until you actually really take time to reflect on it it's only when Benny actually realised three people and three personal reflection bro this is a gift I actually do have so to anyone out there thinking I don't have any gifts first of all that's not true <laughs> but second of, all, second of all most importantly take time away from all the noise from social media all that stuff there and just reflect on what you bring to the table because you'd be surprised how much more you bring to the table. Mm. Sometimes they think it's just what? 
you bring a, you bring a baked beans. Then today you bring a whole meal. Mm, full English. You are the whole meal. Yeah. Don't forget that. Go on. Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> but yeah, no. Nah, that's, that's, that's an and by parties, like he wasn't just bringing people together in the house. Like we're talking floods. Yeah, yeah. Of like people. Three in, like, floors. Yes. But don't you find it funny that you know he had that one gift he was good at, yeah. and maybe he was doing parties or doing something that he may deem as secular mm -hmm. in this point. But nothing's changed, right? Yeah, nothing's changed. He might have changed if he give, he's given his life to Christ. Obviously, yeah. he will change. But the mm. gift is still there. Now he's using Precisely. it to do yeah. um, unified UK, bringing yeah. together all Christians into yeah. a space. Does yeah. that make sense? So this is why I say that you need to understand who you are and think about it. And it's sort of like, even if it takes memory trip down, you know, down, yeah. down, lane. down memory lane yeah. to think about when you're a child, what was sort of in it. And this is something actually... Um, so for those of you who don't know, so I work in banking, for example, right? and I had um, uh, a conversation with you know one of my one of my colleagues that, um, and he said to me like one of the interview questions was just like, what were you like when you were a child, right? He asked me like, are you are you competitive? Mm. Does that make sense? Like I was just like, well, why is he? Oh, okay, he's asking me this because when I get into the job, I need to be competitive. No, nah, because he he had an understanding that you know some of the best people, when even when it comes to hiring. So if you're a business owner or you're looking to hire people, you want to ask about the skills and the talents they've had before time, not what they're going to present to you on the day because they've read the job description yeah, and the application. <laughs> yeah. You want to dig into a bit deeper because. People don't really change. Yeah, does that make sense? People don't really like change. The core of them. Yeah. So, yeah. so he asked me on my competitive, and I started to think mm, actually, back in the day, I was always a bit competitive in school. Yeah, you know, yeah. my Yu-Gi-Oh cards and my mm. Blade Blades. Like, I wanted, like, oh, I was, you did everything. <laughs> yeah. And I thought about it, and I thought, okay, but yeah. And so I'm growing older, and I'm still, I still got that competitive and edge, should, but yeah. it can just be translated in a in a yeah. different way. If mm. that I think, I think a beautiful way to round that point up there is to understand that. There are so many gifts within you that you just need to unlock. Mm -hmm. And not even unlock, understand the lock to that lock so you can open that door and get back to those those gifts once again. Because the they're key. all there. Yeah. Get the key back. Mm -hmm. the key, unlock the door because the gifts are all there. I mean, for I me, like that. yeah, no, it's mm -hmm. real. Because for me, when it came to understand who I was and the value I could bring to the people, I had to ask, I had to ask myself, what did I bring to the table? What's my gifts? And then when I realised that my gifts for me was be able to inspire people through my words, through my actions, through my leadership, I realised, you know what, this is something I can I can pivot into. Mm. And as I, said, as I said before, earlier on, when it comes to value and purpose, right, and living a life of value and purpose, because I know what I bring to the table now, when people say to me, uh, come do this, come do this, I'm like, no, no, this is not helping me, push me forwards. So, or you're not adding value in where you want to add yeah, value. Yeah, because mm. the thing is that we all have come on a on a on a clear purpose, a divine purpose. Believe it or not, like we're all here for a reason. You're not just here for vibes. So if you're, here, if you're not here for vibes, you're here to add value to this world, whether whether you believe it or not. So for me, what I've done now is when I've understood what I bring to the table, and I'm still I'm still scoping to get. We're not we're not there yet. I know you said that you're you're you got time of bringing people together, but over time that will continue to grow and prune and be pruned. But for me personally. I know what I know right now where I'm going. I know what my skill sets are. So I'm growing in those areas there. And as time goes along, if the law permits for me to change and adapt, that's what I'll do. But yeah, I mean that's what that's what I'll say on that point there, and, man. And even in terms of like finding that gift and finding that your purpose and your vision and all that kind of stuff. Mm. Sometimes it will be your biggest weakness, which actually can be someone's biggest, like that, the biggest value adding someone's life. So, for example, for you, we're speaking. Yeah, we're speaking. <laughs> Back in the day, you couldn't even speak when he was younger. I'm sure yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard it. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I couldn't speak properly till I was seven years old. But it's funny now how what. A year into our podcast now, we know to touch millions of people. Mm -hmm. Yes, people, I have made a group, a community for people. I say people, but it's go-getters, entrepreneurs, people who want to improve their lives. Probably some of you guys as well might be interested. It's called The Round Table. And essentially in this group, I will be getting together a whole load of people who will have the same vision and they're about the same stuff. I'm just going to be sharing as much value, resources, um, I don't know, links to podcasts, to, to, to videos that I've seen, to books that I've read anything that's helped me on my journey and helped my people on their journey i'll be dropping in this chat so if you're interested go to the description below or whatever there is it will be somewhere click on that link and join the chat trust me you will love it quick one people so i'm taking event bookings now to speak at events for the last few months now i've been speaking at universities and some schools places such as ucl warwick right but now i'm officially taking event bookings so you want someone to speak to you guys about or speak to your people about confidence imposter syndrome and the art of improving public speaking i'm the guy for you so contact me 
on the coach Klutze, Robert Klutze, and I'll be there for you. Forget the podcast, costumes. Coach Klutz, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> it's actually funny, bro. I'm actually making a public speaking um, coaching. I'm starting, I'm starting, I'm pivoting into public speaking coaching, bro. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's amazing, bro. You know what I'm saying? But it's funny because one of my favorite verses in the Bible, Genesis 50, verse 20, he used the he used the foolish things to confound the wise. The mm-hmm. things which people thought or the enemy what the thought would be would be to my downfall or to my detriment. Yeah. God's built to turn it around. Wow. It's to turn it around. And for anyone there who's not even a Christian too, situation in your life too where whereby where, where, whereby things won't go your way, reflect on uh, no, let me say this again. Mm-hmm. So basically what I was trying to say is that the things which weren't going which things the things which were against me mm. and were there to put me down. Mm. God's bills to turn around. So anyone who, who even isn't a Christian, just understand this, right? The things which are in your life, which you may feel right now aren't helping you or aren't pushing you forward or you feel like life's really hard. Trust and believe and believe and trust. If I can do it, if my life can change through the grace of God, your life can change too. Mm. Just because you're in a situation right now where things aren't going your way, things can still change. Things will still change. And look at me as an inspiration for that, man. We forgot to ask Victor a question, a very, very important oh my question. Gosh. Extreme. I just realized now because we even have to. We have to oh. end it soon, unfortunately. But there's a question that we need to ask. Go on. Do you want to say it? You, you, can, say it. you, you can say it, bro. If this part of your life was a chapter in your book, what would it be called? Mm. Just a chapter title. Just a chapter title. Yeah. You've kept me. You've kept me. Mm. That's the first time we've got like a, a couple of letters, a couple of words yeah. for a title. We usually get one word, but that's interesting. We never, we never actually tell people to limit it. But why is it you've that's kept true, me? That's true, actually. We don't do it. Yeah, three words. You've kept, kept me. me. Why and, and what I mean by you've kept me, I'm referring to like the creator God has kept me. Mm. As in two years ago, bro, like family, like people literally just passing away. We've had yeah. so many things, right? Mm. Um, I, I would tell you the truth, right? The reason why we don't have a lot of time, I, I was driving here, bro. I could have been in a car crash. Oh wow, bro! I told you what happened in the motorway. Also, t- accidentally turned into a one-way road. You know the ones? Yes, I do know the ones very bro, well. Bro, God, come and get you! Oh, I'm literally reversing out yeah. like crazy. Like I'm telling you, someone didn't want me to come here today, and. It's, this is not the first time, I mean, the car thing was the first time, but there's so many different situations that I can just be like, I'm here today looking healthy. Yeah, you're looking mm. good, bro. Mm. <laughs> Trimmed up too. I'm looking I mean, healthy. Does that make sense? Yeah, so it's it just a, a chapter like right now, you it's just me. you've kept mm-hmm. and I'll go through it. all the things that I've survived. Yeah. And not even survived, triumphant. Mm. Came out of, you know, mm. um, and... Yeah, man, I'm just I'm just grateful. Literally, it's a blessing that I I've been that. kept. You know, my life has been preserved for great things. Amen. So, and yeah, and bro, I pray that your life will continue to be a testimony to so many people, bro. I do too. You know what? Yeah, <laughs> word. I mean, bro, Amen. Hey, bro, <laughs> this is feeling like therapy slash church. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. But, but bro, I said I told John earlier on the car here. Yeah, you are a massive inspiration, bro. Mm. A massive inspiration, bro. Like the way you live your life, bro, is so inspirational. Yeah, what inspirational, but it's so like I can literally see a man walking in purpose. Yeah, so it only makes sense you're on the podcast today, bro. You're actually a man who's not just living a life of vibes. Many people our age are doing that, many people who are even older are doing that. But you're a man who's intentional what he's doing, and for me, that's inspirational. That's why it's important to have people around you, like people like you in the circle, man. No, but it's, it's you too as well, and I think bro. you know, we don't say this enough in mm. person because like we don't meet enough does <laughs> yeah, that make yeah, sense yeah, yeah. So i can't strain because i like our story posts and this that's all good stuff on social media but to just say it in person like the inspiration you guys are to many people is mm. mind blowing and what i do like about it is the authenticity because mm. let's let's be real at the end of the day this is a podcast there's so like podcasting is huge now there's so many different yeah. podcasts you can say things to get clickbait you can yeah. say things to agree with people say things that are trending but you keep purpose at the core and the center of what you guys do. Yeah. You're not afraid to mention scripture or bring yeah. in religion. And some people are so afraid because it's going to distract from what they want to monetize, what they want yeah. to grow. Yeah. So it's it's our, it's, truth. it's our truth, man. Yeah. And I mean, that's powerful for you to yeah. just say it's your it's truth. Our truth. Some people have the truth, but they you know they're held back. They can't mm-hmm. really say that because there's somewhere they need to mm-hmm. to go. 
and and I even sort of even understand some people in that yeah, space. Yeah, yeah. You got to give grace, you know. Yeah, but yeah. But what you guys are doing, you're you've like you've left it all on the table. Precisely, bro. Like once you do this episode, where whoever the guest is, you're gonna find a way to slide in something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're gonna find a way to actually just speak life into whoever's yeah. over there. So for you sure. calling me an inspiration, mm. you might think, okay, you're big and Victor up. But you're just thinking, wow, like for me, you've just done something to me right now. Like something's mm. just shifted in the atmosphere and I'm thinking, wow, like wow. that's crazy. I'm deeply grateful wow. and humble. Now I've got energy when I run out of this building. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to start planning and, you know, helping to, again, help for you guys, other yeah. people bring yeah. impact. And this is why we're here today. We're talking about value mm-hmm. and purpose. And mm. you merge the two together, mm. got valuable and purpose led. Come Literally, I like that. Wow. I mean... You know what? We're running out of time. We have man. to wrap it up ASAP. But, bro, I mean, people are literally going to. We haven't even started the podcast. We haven't even started the podcast, is what I'm saying, bro. Man. But, you know what? Yeah, let we'll me have to have a part two. If you want a part two, get this video to what? Like 50 likes? 60 likes? Yeah, 60 likes. 60 likes. 60 likes. Bro, I mean, two. let's ask everyone very quickly. What's your, um, your number one tip to people to add value to this world? I know, you, I know you said one already, but. For me? Yeah, but like, it takes, takes me long to articulate yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Go on. I want to think of something. That's a quick one. What's but... one tip you give to someone right now who wants to add value to this world? Um, you go first. I need to think. So my number one tip I'll say to someone who was at, to add value to this world is to, within the noise of the social media world we live in, to take time, pause, and reflect. We spoke about throughout the whole episode. Mm-hmm. We spoke about throughout the whole episode, but there's actually a beauty in waiting. But quick fire though, because yeah, the beauty. I can hear people outside. Yeah. There's a beauty in waiting, guys. So guys, please, please, please. Within the world, within the noise, please take time to understand what you bring to the table. That's my number one tip of how to add value to this world. My tip, just like Ty said when he was here, Energizer Podcast, I think it was Ty. Mm. It was Ty who said it. Know thyself. Know thyself. Know yourself. Know who you are, what value that you have to bring, mm-hmm. and then you can bring it. And my one, I'll try to make this quick, but what I would actually say is celebrate people. If you've seen someone who that is adding value and you want to do similar to them, celebrate them. After you celebrated them, go ask them for advice. After you got that information, go and execute. I like that. I like that. Well, that summarizes the episode amazingly. Damn. I love that, but I didn't love it because we didn't have enough time. But it is what it is, you know. You got here. We're producing this episode and we're going to have a part two soon as well. Oh, man, I'm looking you down for that? Yeah, I'm down. Oh, yeah, I didn't even yeah, ask yeah. you. <laughs> I'm here, bro. I'm yeah, here, man. man. I'm here. I love bro, that. in the meantime, enjoy Dublin. Mm-hmm. Go smash it, bro. Continue to be a vessel. And what time are you coming back on the 18th? Um, what for the retreat? Yeah, yeah. around like four p.m. Six. Okay, yeah, we well, feel free, bro. We got um, free. got a sign in the evening. We got a sign in the evening, man. Okay, got got event, man. Event. 18th of December, be there or be triangle because we're be different. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's going to be a busy weekend, but I'm there. very busy weekend. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Oh, and obviously, the, if this comes out before that, people will be obviously looking forward to seeing you there okay. as well. Yeah, Absolutely. 100%, man. But yes, we got to go. Big love, people. Say thank you to Victor in the comments. And, yeah. You know, leave the likes, leave all that kind of stuff. Let us know what you think about it and go check out the Valuable Podcast, of course. Mm-hmm. And buy some valuable clothing. In a bit, people. In a bit, people. Lovely. How'd you find? Oh, Has time gone that quick? Oh, I haven't even started. Bro, man. <laughs>